Hey guys, do you remember the game How Many Triangles? We used to spend many hours to find the answer and yet we can't be sure. And that's what made me to study the case and find a formula to count the triangles for us. And before we go on, the formula is published by me on academia.edu. You can download a PDF copy of my paper to check it out. All of that and more coming up. So let's get started with this very old game. For the first one, this is very obvious that we have only one triangle. How about now? We have three triangles. Now, if we count, we will have eight triangles as you can see. Well, how about now? And now? And now? That means we need a formula to count the triangles instead of us because I think we can all agree that it is very hard to count it manually, right? To understand this formula, we split the explanation into three chapters. First, it's in the cases where the sec drawn only from one vertex. Second, is from only two vertices. And the last one is from three vertices, which is the general case. And before we start the explanation, there are some definitions and names must be known. Let's consider n question mark is equal to the sum of the numbers starting from 1 until n. For example, 5 question mark is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, like that. And the vertex that the segments are drawn from it, we call it source. Let's get started with the chapter 1. In chapter 1, the triangles have only one source. Here, the form of these triangles are like this. But let's start one by one from the beginning. Here, as you can see, we have one triangle. If we have a segment, here we will have three triangles, right? But let's draw it in another way. Instead of adding segments inside, let's add it from outside like that. And we join it with the previous triangle. And again, let's get started from the beginning. D equal to zero, we will have one triangle d equals to 1 or we add one segment, we will add to the previous triangle two more triangles, this and this, which is equal at the end to three triangles. To d equals to 2, we will have also adding to the previous triangles these three triangles, which is equal to 6. And same concept for every new segment we are adding. To have, let's say, D segments, we have new D plus 1 triangles. So, generally speaking, the formula that counts such triangles, which we call them first degree triangle, is equal to D plus 1, all of it, question mark. And like this, we finish the chapter 1 and we start with the chapter 2, where we have two sources only. Here in this case, the triangle, for example, will be like this. Now, to prevent the confusion between the segments, we call the segments drawn from a source A by DA, and same for the other sources. Now, if you pay attention, we have a first degree triangle actually repeated DB plus one times. It means we have DA plus one question mark, DB plus one times. And now, we still have to count these kind of triangles, which we call them the paratriangle. Now, for this kind of triangle, the number of triangles existed is equal to the number of segments crossing the triangle plus the original base. Now, in our example, the segments crossing are the DA segments, right? And all what we need now is to know how many paratriangles existed, which means it is equal to D plus 1 minus 1 question mark which is equal to db question marks. That means, at the end, the number of triangles in chapter 2 cases are equal to d plus 1 multiplied by d plus 1 question mark plus the da plus 1 multiplied by db question mark. And now finally, for the general form, the third degree triangle. Same ideas actually from the previous cases, like we have triangles from first degree, but this time we will have it DC plus DB plus one times. And we have DB question mark para triangles multiplied by DA plus DC plus one, which is equal to the number of segments crossing the triangle. 
and DC question mark para triangles multiplied by DA plus DB plus 1. But we still have to count some kind of triangles. Before that, we have to know some new definitions. The X2 points are the intersecting points between DB and DC segments, and X3 points are the intersecting points between DA, DB, and DC segments. Now, to count the triangles that are left, these triangles are made by the intersecting points X2 or X3 with the DA segments as bases for these triangles and also the sides of the original triangle, which means we have x2 multiplied by dA plus 2 triangles. But why plus 2? Because we have, as I said, also the sides of the original triangle. And if one of the dA segments intersecting with a previous x2 point, that means that the triangle here actually is a point, which means we have x3 multiplied by dA plus 1 triangles as if we subtract by this point triangle. And now for the last idea, by counting the para triangles, we are counting some triangles twice because of the x2 and x3 intersecting points. For each x2 and x3 points, we are counting a triangle twice, which means we have to subtract the formula by x2 and x3 to have at the end this general formula. Well, if you have guys any questions or any idea you would like to discuss it with me, you can contact me in the comments below or by Twitter and Facebook. Till the next time.